Are we there yet? No! Are we there yet? No! Are we there yet? No! Are we there yet? Yes! Dad, I'm hungry. G'day humans, Chris Stead here. It's an unusual view, isn't it? I'm sitting in the North Star on the very, very top of the ovation of the seas, the Royal Caribbean Cruise Bay, as it's docked in Sydney Harbour. You can see uh, the top deck down there below. It was uh, docked in Sydney for a couple of days. The media were invited on board to just take a quick look around and enjoy the view. Uh, and actually, if you climb up that bridge over there, it costs you quite a few hundred dollars. Uh, and you're about just as high right now on the North Star, so... Um, uh, a cheaper alternative, I guess, for guests who are in town if they want to see what the view's like from up the top, looking down on Sydney Harbour. But anyway, the reason why I was here was to take a sneak peek at the Royal Suite, which is the star class, top of the range experience that you can get on the Ovation of the Seas, which is the quantum class boat in the Royal Caribbean. So here we are, there's the, the Opera House. What a beautiful day it was. And a quick tour for you. So of course, you get your own spa, not very big, fit a couple of people in there though, a nice little chair to hang out in. Fully stoned, or fully uh, stoned uh, in bathroom. Another separate bath, vanities. You can see all the finishes there are really premium. Uh, there's a special mattress, you don't get the same mattress as you get in the state rooms here. I can't remember what it's called, but it's a deluxe mattress, king. Overlooking your two-story view out of the, uh, the boat there. I'll show you a bit more of that view when I go downstairs, but that's kind of where you're going to be sleeping. And uh, you have those curtains open, you can imagine traveling through the South Pacific, looking out those all day would be pretty pimp. Now, walk-in wardrobe, of course, uh, and you're going to have a little desk in here that you can, um, I don't know, do your crypto, whatever it is that got you enough money to be in this room to begin with. Uh, and so, yeah, full walk around bathroom there. Now, if we, uh, have a little jaunt down the stairs here. You can see all the furnishings on the wall. Uh, everything in this place was plush and, and well finished. Um, even the flooring there, obviously not the uh, small pile carpet you get in the state rooms. Um, so full lounge room there, TV, lovely couch, then a separate media room as well. So you can go in there, sit down, watch whatever you want to watch. And uh, through here, another bathroom, a second uh, bathroom as well so you don't have to walk up those stairs if um, duty calls uh, another separate shower so these things are really built like so you would never basically have to go outside and mingle with any of the peasants and uh, which is a shame because like when when I on my cruises I actually don't really feel the need to go and say that, that door there goes out to the outside by the way uh, and you got this full dining table in here and uh, this big um, I guess kitchen effectively uh, no, nothing to cook. You don't need to cook, of course. Everything's brought to you uh, at your at your women' desire. There's a mini bar under there as well, and I have seen this on other boats before as well. On the ships, um, I think it was uh, ooh, was it Odyssey of the Seas or Wonder of the Seas? It was one of those, and had a grand piano in this royal suite as well. And I'll have a look at the view, and then I'll let uh, let the genie, who's the uh, the guy who looks after the individual or individuals staying in this room and looks after them. So as you can see, you've got your little private deck out here as well, where you can just sit there and just, geez, that'd be, that would be pretty pimp. <laughs> um, just hanging out there as you're cruising across the Pacific Ocean. Anyway, let's have a listen to our old mate and, and what he's got to say about uh, his experiences. I'm the old genie, the uh, Royal Caribbean. Uh, been long time since 2004. I'm working for Royal Caribbean International, and it's an honor to become a, a to serve as a Royal Genie for our highly esteemed guests, which is Star Class. On board Ovation, we do have eight Star Class suites, and we are two genies. You saw a gentleman along with me. He, me, and him. We are the two genies on board, and we have four four suites each. Now, what uh, the Royal Genie program is all about is uh, because first. They bring a lot of revenue to us. So whoever brings revenue, we have to take extra care. And that's the reason we come into the picture. We are in touch with the guests six weeks in advance. We email them and then we start doing interaction, likes, dislikes, celebrations, 
any dietary allergies, mini bar requests, drink preferences. So when they come on board, it's a seamless experience. So they don't have to worry anything about it. And everything is poof, magical. All right? That's the reason we are, this is our octopus. This is part of our uniform. It signifies like our hands are all over the place. And this one, if you see, it's a British Butler Institute pin. We have to graduate from the British Butler Institute in order to do a job of Royal Genie. All right. Now, when the guest comes on board, anything, and uh, you, they have any requests, any issues, any concerns, we are their one point contact. So we do have, and we do keep in touch with them through WhatsApp. So anything they may require they message us and we are just one click away we start early in the morning and goes till the time guest goes to sleep then we go to bed as well so it depends on the guest who being how we do it uh, what does it include the star class uh, star class suites of course this massive room uh, royal genie services they do have complimentary internets one device per person for surf and stream as many people are in the room, doesn't matter, it's six months old to a 60 year old. Okay, then we do have complimentary beverages package, it's a beverage package, it's up to $1.15 in US market, uh, in Australia market, and in US market, it's up to dollar value of 13. So, anywhere, any bar they go, and if they like to have a drink, they just show their special C pass card, which our crew member recognizes is a, is a purple color. This purple color C pass card indicates they are a star class, and so automatically the crew member knows to how to serve them, and no question asked. All right, so that's a fifteen dollar value in Australia season, and uh, they do have a mini bar included as well. If you see right here, so now the guest who is coming, they don't need much of alcohol, so it's only sodas and water. That's the reason we interact with them prior to cruise what their drink preferences are and everything so we make sure they are already installed before they come on board they do have all specialty restaurants covered except for the chef's table uh, they don't have to pay anything except they have to pay $25 up charge for the chef's table because we serve them premium wines and that other than that all food on board is covered in, into the star class package uh, they have complimentary gratuities also included in the star class package. And they do have uh, many of this laundries is laundries are included as well on a daily basis. We have different programs: express, washing, ironing. So it depends on what service they want. We do have upgraded linen. It's a fretted linen served in star class suites and pillow menus and everything else. Uh, I think so. That's all I have covered. The major. Yes, and one more important thing, the shows, the activities on board, it's also they are on priority. How it is like, have you seen the theater at the moment? No. Yeah. You'll be going. Okay, it's a huge, it's a huge area. So, it depends on our guests as we interact with them. So, they let us know they, where they want to have a seat. So, we select the best seats in the house. And so, they can come at least 10 minutes prior to the show and they see us and we escort them and make them seated in their seats. So they don't have to rush 30 minutes or 40 minutes before the show starts and grab and have a seat. So this is one of the best perks. And also in port of calls, we do escort them in a priority elevator. So they don't have to be in a huge crowd and avoid the huge line. So everything is pass, bypass. All right, this is I think so most of the amenities I have covered, rest is open for you if you have any questions. Um, uh, probably uh, we are seeing um, a, a bit of a, a trend globally of multi-generational travel where you might find the, the grandparents might actually take a, a suite like this and the balcony rooms that you saw, state rooms that you saw, the rest of the family might stay and this becomes the heart of the family holiday for, for the duration. So they might meet in here before oh, yeah. they go to a show or so we're really seeing a lot of that since we've come back um, certainly in North America so it's going to be interesting for us to see the rise of that in Australia. Um, so, so anyway, there's a quick sneak into what you may 
one day be able to experience if you become mega mega rich and can afford to have one of the royal suites in the royal caribbean quantum class boats this one in particular was ovation of the seas which lives out of sydney through the summer months thanks very much for watching i'm chris Steer. check out some of my other cruise content including a review of quantum of the seas which i was on recently and uh, i'll be putting up a review of wonder of the seas soon too as well thanks very much for watching as for me i'm back on the road Thank you.